all right everybody welcome to your third chatbot tutorial with natural language processing and in this tutorial essentially what i'm going to do is show you how to actually set up the chatbot so that this guy can actually start responding to the user and essentially this is required because uh, once we have done that we just need to make sure with.ai sits in the middle and uh, now uh, we just pass all our messages to wit.ai and essentially we do not even need to do that with facebook because facebook provides a seamless way to integrate wit.ai and i guess we have done that in the last tutorial so what we need to do right now is pretty much set this chatbot up so let's just do that well instead of express what i think we should be using right here is restify and restify is actually used to create restful apis but apparently this is not an api because uh, we'll not be echoing out a lot of things on the screen instead we'll be just sending requests back to facebook but um, it doesn't hurt to use restify here and if you have used express it's pretty much the similar thing with restify so we can say Restify here and rest, restify, rest, make sure you get that right. Restify dot create server, right? And you can specify a name for this as well if you want. I can just say code damn bot. And uh, what we have in here is first of all, we need to have a package.json. So, what I want to do is do an npm install. Uh, or npm init and I want to do an npm install of restify here I'll let it just install so meanwhile it's installing what I want is uh, this is fine I want to use two middlewares restify.plugins.json.p which would allow us to actually parse the post data sent by Facebook which is important body parser right there once we are done with that what i want is a listen on post request request response and next now i can just console log here actually nothing because we are um, using that uh, interface this one so we do not need to pretty much log anything so what i can do and actually i have set it up the endpoints and webhooks correctly and if you have changed your webhook url which you will if you close ncroc or you know just restart your computer what you need to do is go to webhooks uh, actually it's go to add products first and add webhook here once you have done that go to webhooks and just click on this edit subscription and for my case it doesn't work if i change directly here I had to remove the subscription from here go back to messenger and then add webhook again because from here it does not allow you to change the URL anymore so once you are done that go back to messenger find your chatbot right here and send it a message so inside this ngrok you can see we get a bad gateway obviously because we are not running it so let's just run node mon index.js and let's just see if facebook gives us one more try and actually we can just replay this thing so you can see that we get an object of uh, format something like this so we have this as coming from Facebook so what I want to do is actually create a separate file here which would be named as let's just say methods.js and what this would do is that it would export or uh, not export because that's ES6 module.exports is uh, a class and let's just say this is uh, um, I don't know let's just name this methods why not and it has a constructor for us uh, which we would take a look later on and it has 
a send text as the method right and obviously this would be asynchronous right so what we need to do here is uh, first of all get request module request right and again require request and what we're going to do is actually make use of request here which would uh, we have to supply a url which is the facebook's url which is graph.facebook.com slash uh, let me just see here what this url is and uh, this is facebook.com slash our api version 2.11 in our case and then this is the endpoint then what we have here is the query strings and the query string would contain the access token the access token of this page so i can just say that this is this dot access token and we can just get the access token here and say this dot access token is the access token and no boy don't need to import anything so we have the query strings with us and we just need the json data which i will just create in a minute and then the method we have finally is post right but the problem is that this is um, based on callbacks and since promises i do not like callbacks so what i'm going to do is uh, well, I know that there are promised version of requests in the NPM store, but uh, let's just request promise, create one ourselves. Why not when we can? So we can say request promise.js. Uh, what I can do is module.exports is a function which takes our object and returns us a new promise which just says request and then this would be our object and then finally what request does to us is gives us a bunch of options which is error response and body and uh, we obviously need arrow notation here and I can say if there's no error then uh, resolve with the body else either throw or um, reject anything with the error right so we are done with our promised version of request so this would work request and what i can say is response is await this thing and i can finally say that console.log um uh, facebook says and then response and then finally what we need to do is create a json out of here constant json is uh, and what facebook expects us to do is to add a recipient here r-e-c-i-p-i-e-n-t make sure you do that right id and we need to accept two arguments here text and id text would be the text we want to send and id is the id of the user and uh, what else we have is message and that would be text right so we have our json with us so what this id is apparently is the sender's id which we need to extract from here so what we can do inside our index.json is uh, let me think so we have our post here we get all this thing this response is request.body right and what we want to do next is uh, get the id so we can actually first of all say constant um, Um, first of all, let's just import this constant methods is require methods 
and then we can say constant what is new methods right and actually we need to supply a um, access token here so we would get that access token right here and there we are so this is our access token and uh, then what I want is uh, um, we have the bot here so once we get that request I just want to check if response dot what we have in here object object is equal to page that means we are getting a message from the page and I want to get this message so as a hack for now what we can do is uh, or actually should we just code it the right way um, okay let's just code it the right way so what I'm gonna do is um, create a method here get message object and then JSON goes here what we're gonna do is say bot dot get message object and I'm gonna say response here Let's say message object is this thing and I'm gonna finally say that we're gonna send the same message which the user sent us so I'm gonna say um, bot dot send text and then this would be you said message object dot message and uh, the ID would be message object dot ID which we're gonna create in a minute so what I want to do is uh, actually say that uh, message is JSON dot entry and again we actually have to iterate over the entry because there could be multiple entries but uh, we're gonna do that later on so entry and then messaging messaging m-e-s-s-a-g-i-n-g and then we have to actually iterate over that as well but uh, anyways so message um, dot text is our message and then constant ID is JSON dot entry dot messaging and actually we could have used that above here anyways dot sender dot ID right here all right and then finally what I'm gonna say is just return message and ID right and yeah that should do so I believe we look good and if we take a look at the terminal we have um, import token somewhere I believe so we can just say constants request is require request here instead of importing it the ES6 way and you cannot find request because it's not there and there you go so here we are and if we try our bot out now and say hey hop over to ngrok uh, just, let's just wait for Facebook to become active again and make sure we are sending uh, send 200 here are we no so that was important okay so now if our chatbot is reloaded and uh, we should just wait a while for Facebook 
to let us interact with our bot again. All right, so now you can see that uh, Facebook is sending us messages again. And clearly, we are not sending it back. And the reason is that uh, unknown path components slash message. All right, so if you take a look, what we can see here is that this should be messages and not message. And once we fix that, go back to Messenger, send a hey, you can see that our chatbot response, you said hey, send a hello, you said hello. All right, so now if I just take a look inside the NLP section and I enable this thing, right and if we go again hola and take a look inside the ngrok you can see that in natural inside our post request we get another section inside messages that is nlp natural language processing with the entities as blank because obviously we haven't trained our bot yet but you can see the difference between these two messages once we enable enabled the natural language processing here, which I had disabled, then we get another additional um, request block here from Facebook. And actually, let me just show you that if I disable this thing, so let's just say if I make it default English, right? And now if I say, hey, my email address is mpt at the right gmail.com can you help me you would see that facebook's default nlp would see what it does it provides me an entity of email with a confidence of 96.9 percent that is a huge confidence probably you should almost trust everything above 80 or 85 that's what I believe. And then it says greetings as well, which is 99% and value is true. And uh, you can see that Facebook's natural language processing is working as well, but we're gonna make use of wit.as. So you can play around here a little bit. You can send some angry messages that I hate this chatbot. It's worst, anything like that. And Facebook should probably take care of that not really this time I guess Facebook hasn't yeah Facebook hasn't integrated the uh, what we say as a emotional I guess this name I'm forgetting yeah it's called sentimental analysis so Facebook is not doing that right now because yeah that is one of the toughest field of NLP right now to determine the sentiment of a sentence because sometimes you need to have um, you know to determine sentiment of a sentence you need to have a overview of the above conversation because you know it's very hard to determine sarcasm with just a single message right so yeah so you can pretty much play around like my phone number is plus nine one nine 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 and Facebook should just take care of that you can see so that's all for this one and in the next one i'm going to show you how you can um, pretty much train your wit.ai bot we're going to start off with that and uh, yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one